Okay guys, so we are back with another stock portfolio update. Apologies for the lack of videos recently. I'm trying to push for one a week, but I was just on holidays over the last week, so that made things a little bit more difficult. But I'll do my very best to put out at least one, if not two videos a week going forward. As well as that, a quick thank you for reaching 4,000 subscribers on the channel. Absolutely amazing. That of course coming after only nine months of creating content here on YouTube. It's been a very enjoyable journey so far. Learned a lot from you guys. Hopefully you guys have learned some things from me as well. And let's continue to keep growing this channel. Hopefully we can get near that 5,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year. So let's jump over to my trading 2 and 2 portfolio here and then we'll also take a look at my buck zero portfolio and we'll just see generally where we are currently at with the stock portfolio. So I thought I'd start off and just take a look at the S&P 500 here and let's just see how that's done over the past month since I made my last portfolio update. So when we're on the monthly view here you can see that it has been quite a bit of a rocky roll for the S&P 500 and it only has a very small percentage gain over the last month. 0.21% so you can see that it had some highs it had some lows but overall finished up about just where it started one month ago and then if we take a look at my overall portfolio you can see that we're looking very good right now up 32.18% or 6,520 euro. You may notice here as well that one of the stocks here is a firm and this is one that I alerted you guys on in my previous video where I talked about some of my favorite stocks to buy right now and from then it's gone up over 40% which is absolutely amazing and it's actually become I believe my second or third biggest position in my portfolio right now and I only ended up buying it about a month ago. So let's just scroll down to the bottom here and we'll take a look, look at our allocation here. You can see that a firm is just beating Palantir out by 0.12 of a percent to be my second largest holding still nowhere near the tesla holding but it is coming up as my second biggest holding right now wasn't expecting that but obviously with the 40 percent gain in a short space of time it was bound to start climbing the ranks there in terms of taking profit on this i did consider taking some profit but i decided just to let it sit so if we look at my growth fund here which is where i have it you can see that it's five percent of my growth fund it's grown to 6.15 percent so i could rebalance that and kind of level it out a bit but i just don't want the taxable gain right now i don't have to pay taxes on that so what i'm going to do is just leave it where it is for right now and hopefully over the next couple of months it continues to grow at a good rate as well as that you may have noticed if you've watched my previous stock portfolio updates i actually have got rid of one of my pies here i used to have a healthcare fund here but it just wasn't performing that well and i just didn't like having the separation into us uh, into a basket of just solely healthcare stocks so what i decided to do instead was just add some of my favorites into my additional growth fund pie so if we go to holdings and we scroll down we'll see the ones i added here so you can see i have teledoc in there i believe i have crisper in there as well and i think it's only them two that i have there for now a lot of them other stocks are basically just like dividend payers like abv and abbott laboratories johnson and johnson pfizer things like that all great companies but they're mainly focusing on dividend payments i find over the last number of months so they're just ones that i didn't want in my portfolio right now not to say i won't buy them back again or not to say i don't like the company but for right now they just didn't suit my style of investing i'm looking for kind of growth stocks so yeah happy with the um teledoc right there and the crispr therapeutics and since i did that i believe two days ago i added them in you can see teledoc is up nearly five percent and crispr up about 1.32 percent so I expect CRISPR to remain volatile. It's a real volatile stock. If we actually take a look at it now, you can see that it's quite beaten down from its highs back in. When was this? Let's take a look. 14th of January, about $200. Um, so yeah, it's about half the price that it was back then. So if you bought in then, <laughs> you're not sitting too pretty right now, but I have no doubt that it will reach them highs again in the next maybe couple of months or so. So some other stocks I've added recently are Enphase Energy. So I added this one in, um, I believe maybe two or three weeks ago. So it's performing quite well at the minute. This was a previous holding for me, but I did end up selling out of it just because it wasn't performing for me that well. And I didn't know enough about the company to be quite honest, but I've done some more research and I'm quite confident that they will do well over the next couple of years. So I'm happy to have them in there in my additional growth fund pie at a weighting of 20%. And then some of the other ones I may have taken some out here. I can't exactly remember which ones I've taken out, but that's a quick look at my pie right there for my additional growth fund pie. So if you don't know, basically I have two pies here, my growth fund, which I don't really touch too much. I maybe if I get a lot of conviction in something, I may add a stock into this and rebalance. That way I don't have to put new money in, but I can still add money to new positions. And then aside from that, I have my additional growth fund and this is a little bit more speculative. This is a little bit more trigger happy. So I touch this pie a lot more than I would my growth fund pie and you can see that I have a couple of different stocks in there and some of these are likely to change if I make some good gains or anything or if I suddenly switch my thesis on maybe a stock or don't have as much conviction I'd probably take them out of here or add new ones in so yeah overall very happy with the performance of this portfolio right now up 32 percent very happy with that Okay, so jumping over to buck zero now, you can see that I have a total of 10 shares of the S&P 500. Very proud to have hit that number over here, and I'm continuing to add about one or two shares every single month. 
in the S&P 500 just to give me some of that steady exposure to some growth which isn't as speculative as some of my more individual plays. So over here we can take a look at my all time change and you can see it's about 28 euro and 50 cent. So I believe that works out to be about three and a half, maybe 4% gain that I've had on this so far. So not too bad, just keep it ticking away. A little bit like a savings account for me, this ETF one, just adding in whenever I can. I'm trying to build up that position and I suppose, as I said, hedge against my individual stocks. So guys, that's gonna do for my stock portfolio update for the month of October. If you could take a second to drop a like on this video, it really does help out the channel. And if new round here, here, make sure you do subscribe as well as i said we're aiming for around that 5,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year It'd be absolutely great to hit that anyway thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in another video